Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here in the back room at Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. It's Wednesday, Norm's out of the building for the week, man. Norman went down to uh, Dallas for the uh, Dallas Guitar Show, hoping to have, oh, a bunch of new stuff. Telecasters, please God, say there's some Telecasters in there for next week. Uh, so while he's out, we gotta, you know, make some room for some stuff. I had this one guitar I got a couple weeks ago. It's been sitting there. I keep staring at it all day. It's an acoustic guitar, but it's not a flat top. I can't really do it on Flat Top Friday because that would be false advertising. No, I mean, we do a lot of juniors on Telly Tuesday and on Saturday, so I, I falsely advertise enough. <laughs> I gotta keep Flat Top Fridays consistently flat. But it's, uh, I think, a really good candidate for Weird Ass Wednesday. It just so happens to be Wednesday. Can we do Weird Ass Wednesday? Why don't you guys come on back, check this thing out. This is from 1919. This is an original Gibson Style O artist. How weird is that? Answer? That's pretty freaking weird. <laughs> um, let's talk about the Style O. So, this model had been uh, from the get-go, 1902. This was the top of the line guitar model at the time. Uh, Design-wise, kind of an offshoot of the Gibson mandolins that they were doing, kind of the F-style mandolin, which you'll notice similar to like, you know, the F4s, F5s, this scroll pattern up here on the top horn. Very, very cool, uh, very intricate woodworking on this thing. Um, now, it is an arch top guitar, still oval hole. They really don't start doing round sound holes uh, until they start doing flat top guitars in the 20s. So this actually predates Gibson flat top guitars. Um, we have the Fleur de Lay inlay on the headstock with the The Gibson logo. We have the fattest freaking V-neck. Uh, it's hefty, guys. No truss rod, so this has got to have just a big old neck. This predates the truss rod. Um, so yeah, this thing is just built like a tank. Um, some of the other really cool things on these guitars. First off, most all of the acoustic guitars of that era or a 12 fret neck joint. This guitar, you'll notice, has got a 15 fret neck joint, which this is really kind of the first, if you will, cutaway guitar. Uh, you can really get access up to these top frets. We're on most of the Martin guitars of that time. They're all 12 fret guitars. You're kind of stuck there uh, in whatever you can reach from there. So this kind of gave you a little bit more access. Uh, we have the floating bridge. Some of the other cool things that just kill me on here. I don't know if Jen can even see some of this stuff, but I'll point it out. On almost all of the parts, you'll see patent numbers. So on this tortoise guard here, you'll see patent uh, March 30th, 1909. And then uh, on the brackets here, uh, that's another Gibson part. These were 4th of July, 1911 patent number. And the tailpiece here, you can probably see that one pretty well. July 1919. So this is probably the first year we're going to see this style bridge on these guitars. You have the floating tailpiece uh, with the bridge here like you'll see on a lot of the arch top guitars. I think these things were 150 bucks. I remember reading in the books. Um, it's a lot of money back in the teens. Um, this one's in as nice a shape as you could ever imagine. This kind of looks like quilted maple, but this is actually uh, birch, which you'll see also on a lot of like the whole Lloyd Lore era of L5s. Those are all birch back. Um, birch back a rack? <laughs> They're birch backs. Um, spruce top, really cool, really clean. Um, it's weird, man. This is like one of the only Gibsons we haven't done yet. So I figured we got to do it. Uh, why don't we go out to the couch, give this thing a strum, see what it can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1919 Gibson Style O Artist. Original sunburst finish. I don't know, something made me want to just hit this with the slide like an old blues player or something here. Let's see what that can do with the slide. <laughs> Thank you. 
ditch that slide. Let's hit this thing a little bit harder and uh, see what it can do on the old strummy strums here. How weird is that for Weird Ass Wednesday? I think it's pretty weird. From 1919, original Gibson Stylo artist with the 15 fret neck joint. Totally weird for that area. Area, era. <laughs> yeah. And the scroll body, kind of like a uh, F4, F5 mandolin. Super rad, it's as clean a one as you're ever gonna see too. Non-original case, but this thing is all there with all the patent numbers and such. Hey, follow me on Instagram, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Peace.